Today on the, or actually tonight on the Jacob Beer Show, I'm so happy to have on Shay David. It's 9 o'clock here when this gets posted. I'll probably be 10.30 Sunday. So we all probably see it Monday though. But tonight on the Jacob Beer Show, I'm happy to have on Shay David, who is a buddy from my hometown that I've known. I played football with you. Basketball. <laughs> uh, oh, wiffle ball. <laughs> my, my, my least favorite. Listen. I'm in town for a couple of days, so I interview a lot of people at Purdue. I don't know Purdue basketball player last week. Um, but today, since I'm in the hometown and Shay's making some music, Shay David, formerly Shay Wadman, I thought, let's do the interview. You know, it's a Sunday. What do I have going on that's better? Not much. Got to take a little bit from academics. So here I am. How are you doing today, man? <clears throat> Jacob, I am great. It is an honor to be on this show tonight. I've been waiting for the day that the Jacob Buer podcast would come to my house. Welcome to my home. <laughs> Thank you. No drugs. No drugs, never. Uh, I don't like drugs when it's with a, it's intimate. I don't like hugs. That's a verse from my For song. sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> tell me a little bit. You recently lost a lot of weight. If you don't what? mind me starting Jacob, with that. thank you. If you don't mind me starting with that before um, we get in, take us through that process. <sighs> well, Jacob, I'm going to keep it a stack for my people out here. Shay was up, man. He was up. We had some bread. We was doing all right. And, uh. I just feel like something was off, man. I didn't know what it was. I was a little down bad. I gave up the financial stability to, uh, because I thought I knew it was going to help me out for real. So I went to the doctor. I uh, talked to her about how I felt, my anxiety problems and everything. She put me on some anxiety medicine. And I quit my job that I, I knew was holding me back. Not nothing terrible, but I just needed to step away from that just to be able to get to this next level, which obviously it's working now, let's go. So I went to the doctor, Dr. Chelsea. I told her exactly how I felt. She wrote me a prescription and I started taking one pill by mouth per day, Jacob. And at the start, at August 1st, I was over 300 pounds, right? Wow. And now as of today, October, whatever, I'm 263. I'm a month and a half off nicotine. Congrats. I haven't been drunk in uh, three months, and I just I feel like the anxiety, the mental clearance just gave me this much leeway towards where I needed to be, but then I took it to the next level, and now here we are. So take it through a little bit. Um, a lot of college kids are going to be seeing this, and I don't do nicotine. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I've hit a vape once, mm -hmm. but it's been like over a year. You can confess to that, because every time I've been around it, I ain't seen yeah. nothing. <laughs> um so I've never been addicted to something, right? and I've had little much of other things in my life, as you know, besides, what do I like to have? Pepsi Zero or Coke Zero, you know, I Jacob like Jacob and his sugar. Coke. Yeah, zero sugar, though. But, so for me, I don't really always get an understanding of it, but what is it like to be able to get away from <clears throat> nicotine Jacob, in your mind? I will explain to you exactly the mindset. As I started to feel better and I went on, it is like, I always knew it. I would always told my siblings if they ever do nicotine, I would whip their ass. My friends who never did it, I told them don't ever do it. I wish I never did it. It was a thought every day in my mind. And my friends always told me, you can just quit. And I was like, no. There's no way. There's literally no way. I see you on the sideline of basketball games hitting a vape every single couple of plays. <laughs> Jacob, you just tone it down. I'm playing. Yeah. I, you know, I needed smoke in my lungs to... You know, keep me. No, Jacob, I'm just kidding. But besides the point. I mean that because now you're off of it for <laughs> yes, a Yes, now I'm half. off so of it. So I say that as that's a big success. Somebody saw you five, six months ago mm -hmm. hooping up, which you still got more shots than me, even though. Hooping while on, on nicotine and 300 plus pounds. Y'all don't do it like me. Do research. But yeah. take me through. Are you feeling better now? Well, let me, let me, let me, uh. And then let's fin get into let the Let me racket. finish where I was going. Let me finish where I was going. The, uh. The mental clearance made me look at the nicotine, right? And I was like, I wake up and I look for this. If I don't have this as soon as I wake up, I freak out. If this gets burnt or goes bad, then I have to go get a new one that day. It's hella money. From the time I started smoking in eighth grade summer to a month and a half ago, I've probably spent five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 on vape stuff or more. I have no idea. I've never kept track. So just losing that, and I looked at it, and I was like, what is even the point in this? It literally does nothing for me. I just need to... Stop, and I literally just quit. By the way, if you see our hands moving, there's a dog under here, so... Yeah, Chop is here. Chop is in the cut. Hold on. Um, take me through a little bit, then. How have you been encouraged to now have a... Say hi. 
Okay. <laughs> Take me through, how have you been encouraged? And by the way, normally I have a better microphone, so if the audio's a little bit off for this interview, you don't freak out. I left my good microphone at Purdue. But, you know what? When you got a good chance to interview somebody, you don't give it up. So, take me through how you now decided to write songs. Well, and are Jacob. You, and do you currently have a job outside of this? Hey, Jacob. Buddy, tone it down. Let's, let's look one question at a time here. What was the first question? First question is, what made you want to make music? <clears throat> Actually, uh... So for about three or four years now, I've been freestyling it all the time. I would sit in front of my dad's house. While I was getting dropped off from school, I'd freestyle. And then as I moved in here two and a half years ago, I'd freestyle with my friends every day. Always freestyle. Then my mom bought me a computer, a Chromebook, for 200 bucks for Christmas. And I started recording my music as of about a year and a half ago. And then... So I've been doing the music a long time, not even writing. A lot of freestyling, a lot of there has been a lot of writing, but um, it's just once I started to feel better and I got that mental clearance, I just really decided that I needed to just drop the song like I always wanted to and For sure. knew I should. And I actually my first song, "Tell My Mom I'm Sorry," was recorded on the internal mic in that Chromebook my mom bought me. Congrats! Thank you. That's how you start. Hey, how to do it, man? And you currently have a job, or is this your uh, Jacob? Uh, now I'm full time rapping. Full time rapping. You know me, man. <laughs> you commit to one thing. The real thing is, Jacob, I'm not even um I'm not even trying to be a rapper, right? What's your ultimate goal? Let me tell you. Thank you, Jacob. Um I'm good at rapping. That's a good question I was able to put in there. Yes, sir. Uh I'm good at rapping. I'm great at rapping. It's a just something I'm good at. So my first thought was, <clears throat> let me just be a rapper. Let me, like, people are going to be like, oh my god, she's trying to be a rapper, shaking hand raps, this is cringy, this is stupid, so let me just, let me do rapping first, just to show these people I'm serious about the end goal I want to get to, and not only let me do this rapping, but let me be good at it, Amen. and let's get, like, I uh, recently made a, uh, you could call it a, a volume, I made a Shit Talking Volume 1, and the first song on Shit Talking Volume 1 was called Flint shit, Flint, Michigan, hashtag free Rio, because Rio de Young OG is an artist based out of Flint, Michigan, who's blowing up a lot right now. So Have you talked to him? Uh, not, Rio himself is in jail right now. So no, personally, I've not So like Silento of Watch Me Whip, he's also in jail. Anywho, so I, uh, <laughs> I, uh... We all remember that song, by the way, Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Name. Nene, yeah. Yeah, he's in jail, Silento. So, continue on. Sorry about I, that. So, I make this song, right? And I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? I mean, I'm a, uh, like everyone says, cliche, Caucasian male in Indiana. Uh, how, I thought this too. How am I going to make a good Flint, Michigan rap song? And I just sat down, I thought about it, I listened to it, and I wrote it, and I really liked it. I showed my friends for months. They're like, Shay, this is good. You got to put it out, man. And then finally... <clears throat> I uh I got fired from my job. Oh, oh. Do you right. mind talking about that? Uh, I was really nice to these guys. I cared about everything they had to do. I knew everything personal about everybody, but I couldn't really tell you where a light bulb was. So out of a little bit of, you know, spite, maybe they just had a problem. And I just let it go. God's on my side, right, Jacob? So after I get fired that Friday, I asked my mom, like, Mom, I need 120 bucks, okay? I got to go to the studio. I'm going to record this. It's over with, Mom. It's over with. I'm doing it now. I mean, shout out mom, you know what I'm saying? She she gave me the buck 20. And I went to the studio, and I recorded Flint Shit, Hashtag Free Rio, and Good Kid Mad City, my two songs on the Shit Talking EP. And they were beautiful. I loved them. And I was like, here we go. Not only did I just make great songs like I knew I always could, but I recorded it all. I'm about to make a YouTube video like I always wanted to. And it's just time now. It's time. Let's take so off. So where can people see that stuff if they haven't already? Oh, um, <clears throat> on Apple Music, it's Shay David. On SoundCloud and YouTube Music, also Shay David. My YouTube is Shay David one And um, Spotify coming soon. It should be on there. I know. I'm sorry. But, uh, you and will be on there if you plan. I don't know the exact time, but soon. It might even be on there when this comes up. I have no idea. I'm going to go figure it out. We'll figure it out. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, but anyways, besides all that, so I made that, right, Jacob? Yeah. I made that, and I was like, okay, back to the beginning. Cliche, <laughs> white male, Indiana. What do I do next? And I'm like, well, let's just do it, I guess. So I start making TikToks, dancing to it, posting it, sending it to everybody. People were like, oh, you Shay's rapping. You know, my family, they a little cringy about it. It's whatever, but I see it. I see the goal. I'm like, 
What am I going to do? My family was cringe about me doing this podcast and things. Jacob, you're the man. Jacob Buer is the man. If anyone makes fun of Jacob Buer, it's raps. Okay? I remember one time. I, you're great, Jacob. Appreciate it. But anyways, point is, and look, I'm still a college student. I'm not able to make a full time living off of this. But you know, mm-hmm. I don't think they're. I don't think anybody's laughing at me as much now that I've had on some great gas. Jacob, no one's laughing on you. You're doing amazing. But anyways, I pushed Back this. I pushed that shit talking volume one. I pushed it out. I made TikToks, dancing videos, Instagram reels. I started posting it. People were like, what? Kind of just a side hit to the face. People were like, Shay's doing this now? So not only was I doing it. I was like that too. Right? A lot of people were. And so not only <clears throat> am I doing it, but I'm going to do it good. I went to the studio. I got it done good. Everyone liked it. Every person that heard it was like, damn. So I sent it out everywhere, 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 everywhere. And I actually ended up getting in contact with Rio de Young OG's father, okay, on Instagram. And I talked to him, I explained, hey, I just made this, uh, I'm from Indiana, I really care, I would love to do this, I hope I can make my dad as proud as you one day, and he's telling me, you will, he said he was going to show his homies this song, and then I get my package in with the shirt, and uh, I took a picture with it, and I said, at Ray, the OG, thank you for the shirt, and uh, go check out my new song with the link, Flint shit, hashtag free rail, and he posted that on his Instagram story. So my thought from... Let alone one thing. Mo- one month ago, I posted my first song, Jacob. Maybe a little bit more. Tell my mom I'm sorry. The shit talking volume one was only posted a week ago. Maybe a little bit more. So look at me, cliche white kid who's rapping to the man he's making the song wow. about. His father posting him on his story. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And I got local artists from Indy who are just telling me how good my stuff sounds and how hopefully we could link up and do something one day. And then I got a, a Florida artist named LaGarry just performed at Lyrical Lemonade's 10-year anniversary. I'm in cahoots with him trying to work on feature pricing. And I think we found a good deal we could both work on. But the good thing is he's letting me come out to Boston, Massachusetts this Friday. If I make it, we'll see what happens. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be there Friday. <clears throat> and I'm to record the feature. And he's opening for BLP Kosher that night out in Boston, Massachusetts, which is another bigger rapper so it's kind of a big deal and all this in a month jacob people are laughing so take me through kind of one last thing and this is a big one before i begin into future goals Mm -hmm. that's always one i like to end with Mm -hmm. is it a rapper that's inspired you (sighs) um give a current day one and then maybe one from the past like the snoop dogg wow wow current day one. okay let me tell you uh nowadays current day yeah nowadays oh big 30 juice world uh, rest in peace. <laughs> rest in peace. X. X was a good. He's motivation. Trippy Red. He's on the wall as well. And then <clears throat> new school. There was a lot of people. Obviously, Rio de Young OG. There's so much new music coming out that there's a lot of inspiration. But old school, The Set in Stone, Tupac Shakur. My dad listened to him my whole life while I was young. His favorite songs are by him, and he's a big motivation to me rapping. <clears throat> uh, Ice Cube was a big motivation. N.W.A. Easy E. I, uh, Sir Mix a lot. I don't. I never listened a lot. I'm not gonna lie. You've heard the song "Baby Got Back." Yes, though. of course. But that's Eric's jam. Shout out to Eric. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Easy E was a big inspiration to me because when I was younger, I think that was the first song I ever knew word for word. Because my uh, "Boys in the Hood" by Easy E, because my dad taught me or showed me, and uh, actually uh, performed that on stage one time live karaoke. Dang. Yeah, and uh, a lot of inspirations. A lot more people and. I mean, yeah, I've just been a rap fan a long time. Crazy. Mm-hmm. So one last thing, because I don't like to keep the interviews too long, because I know that everybody is so busy in their life. <laughs> Not me, Jacob. <laughs> uh, that was a lie, right? Yeah. All right, great. Uh, <laughs> what's your future plans? And you know, you're trying to get to Boston. You said, what's your goal, I guess, at the end of this month? Around right. Halloween time, are you going to be Jacob, in? by Halloween, I'm going to have 1,000 followers on Instagram, and I'm going to have my LeGarry feature out to the world. But long term. Christmas time. No, I'm going to tell you this. I'm okay. just going to explain a little bit. <clears throat> Don't let me lose my train of thought. So, long term goals. Shay is not a rapper. He's good at rapping. Shay is going to do stand-up comedy soon. Shay's getting ties. He's going to go do a stand-up. And then I'm going to push that content. And if y'all don't like my rapping or you thought rapping was a joke, look how far I've pushed this in a month. So when I do stand-up comedy and I'm good at it and everyone else knows that Shay's a funny guy and maybe they'd support that one, let's see how far that goes. 
And then this mental health thing is real. Get help, gang. I'm making a website soon. T-shirts, designs, nice things, my story set up. Get help, gang. It's coming soon. That's my brand. Actually, a little Easter egg. If you look at all my songs on Apple Music and you go to the bottom, it says Get Help, gang. That's my label. I actually released it under a label and oh, everything. Yeah. So, um, uh, so I'm wanting to stretch the mental health note for real because I didn't know. You know, Jacob, I was raised where it was like, you don't got to talk about your feelings that much, this, that, this. It was never a bad thing. It was just how I felt or how I was told. And I just really went to stretch it. So I know it's a big thing. So long-term goal is I want to talk to, I talk, I seen Mr. Moore while I worked at Advanced Auto Parts. Mr. Moore, the middle school <laughs> teacher. And I asked him, I was like, why don't we talk about mental health more? He said, funding, right? So once I get a little bit of a name and some things going, I will talk at schools about mental health for completely free and do shows for free. Just let me sell my little t-shirts out in the hallway or something or something like so we can get more mental health notice out there. I'm just going to be him, basically. Interesting. I'm going to hold you to that if you make it better. So. Jacob, I'm, I'll do it tomorrow. Mr. Moore, New Palestine High School. I'll come talk about mental health tomorrow. I ain't got shirts yet. I'll do it for the free ski. <clears throat> Quite nice of you. So one last thing, um, just because I got a, a lot of um, local people going to be looking at this, mm-hmm. what's been your favorite memory to look back on? Man. Parking lot cookout. Who remembers that? <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers the parking Shout lot that cookout? That was some funny stuff. <laughs> Who remembers the parking lot cookout? Good memory. I uh, don't dwell on the past too much, Jake. I'm really excited about the fucking future. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shay David, we appreciate you coming on the Jacob Beer Show today. The Jacob. pleasure's mine, man. No, the pleasure's mine. I've been wanting to do this. I'm glad you came, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. Y'all, listen to Shay David. S-H-A-Y-D-A-V-I-D. On Apple Music. On SoundCloud. On YouTube Music. My YouTube channel is Shay David one And it's the good video recorded edited on my phone by me. This stuff's happening. You at the train station right now. All you got to do is hop on. Right, Jacob? Tell them. Y'all are at the station right now. Just hop on. You have a guy who told you information. It's your choice to follow it or not. Just like when I have politicians on it, it's your choice to vote for them or not. Am I wrong? Hell no. All you listen to my shit and all you follow me. Appreciate it, Shay. Thank you. Yes. I've never had a walk-off after an interview, but I guess that means that an interview went pretty well. Thank you all for listening. You never know who's on the show. Thank you.